Shalom. I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. I want to send forth double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone who ruled well and who has taught us this truth. Shalom, Wa Barakim, the Habakarim, peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, Lord willing, this is an edifying video. All right. Let me go ahead and start this off in John. This is St. John chapter 14 from the top. And as you can see, it says Yahweh Shai comforts his disciples. So Lord willing, this video is a, is a video of comfort. All right. Verse 1, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in Yahweh, believe also in me. Are right, you believe in the Heavenly Father, believe in Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is always reassuring us through the Holy Scriptures. All right, telling us not to be afraid. Don't let your hearts trouble you. Okay, because the Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear. Okay, and at the end of the day, we know that all things work to the good uh, towards those that, that believe in the Lord. Matter of fact, before I continue, let me get this. Um, in Jeremiah. So, like, yeah, let me see. 29. One second. Yeah, it was. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So the thoughts that the Heavenly Father has towards us are his people, are thoughts of peace. The Lord wants to give us peace. He wants to give us salvation. Okay? He wants to deliver us from this captivity that we dwell in. Okay? But um, I want to focus on this video of uh, the deliverance of the captivity of the body that we dwell in. These bodies, these mortal fleshly bodies we dwell in. The Lord's going to deliver us from that. All right? These chains of darkness this is John 14 And I'm going to read one again Let not your hearts be troubled Ye believe in the Heavenly Father Believe also in me Verse 2 it says In my Father's house are many mansions If it were not so I would have told you I go to prepare a place for you Now this means two This is a two-fold or a many-fold meaning all right? Because we know that the Heavenly Father's house all right, Is the heavens Okay And those mansions just means um, an abode, right? So in the Heavenly Father's ha uh, house are many mansions, mean there's many planets, many dwellings, okay? But also, all right, a b an abode can also mean a body, okay? Because the Heavenly Father, this right here that we're dwelling in right now is an is a earthly house. It's an earthly tabernacle, these fleshly bodies that we dwell in. But soon we're going to dwell in heavenly bodies, super, actually we're going to dwell in super earthly bodies, super terrestrial bodies, because we're going to be on the earth, because the kingdom of heaven is going to be on earth. All right, now let's get this. This is 2 Corinthians 5 and 1. It says, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, so we're in these earthly houses were dissolved, it says we have a building of the most high and house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. It says, for in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. And that's what we desire, okay? Each and every day we're, we're groaning and, and, and moaning and desiring to, to receive the body which the Heavenly Father has prepared for us from the foundation of the earth, man. An eternal body, a body that can never sin and go off, that lives forever, that doesn't experience disease and sickness, man. Okay, this is um, I believe it's First Peter's Slakia. This is First Peter's chapter one and three. It says, "Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which according to His abundant mercy, hath begotten us again unto a lively hope." At the end of the day, right now, this body that we dwell in dies. All right, but we have hope that we're going to be transformed and brought into a new body that will never die. It's a lively hope. It says, by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach from the dead, Yahweh Shah is the first one to inherit that body. All right, when he was resurrected from the dead, 
It says, verse 4 says, To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, the Lord, as reserved is for us. Okay? It's waiting to bestow us with this when he returns. All right? It says, Who are kept by the power of the Heavenly Father through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. All right? Now let's go ahead and get... 1 Corinthians 15. This is all 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And um, the mystery of resurrection. All right. We're going to start at verse. Uh, actually, we're going to start at verse uh, 48. Sorry, 47. It says, uh, the first man is of the earth earthy the second man is the lord from heaven all right how was shy was adam all right and he came from the ground all right and he went off okay that's the first man the second again was yahweh shy when he came back as yahweh shy right and he was resurrected from from uh the dead and he inherited a heavenly body all right and yahweh shy will never go off again all right, it says, as, as is the earth, such are they also that are earthly. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. All right. It says, and as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. And that's the point of this video, man. We are going to bear the image of the heavenly. Right now, we're bearing the images of the earthly. Okay. In Psalms, it talks about you are, you are all gods. You are the son of... Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Since I'm quoting it. I'm butchering it. This is Psalms 82 and 6. It said, I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. We're the sons of the heaven. We're the sons of Yahweh. All right. And as the sons of the living power, we were created to live forever. The Heavenly Father said he created man to live forever, to live for eternity, to bear the image of his own eternity. The Israelite man. All right, Psalms 82 and verse 7, it says, But you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes, but we die like the heathen. All right, we die like these heathen men. All right, why? Because, because of the sin of, of Adam. All right, from the beginning, sin came into the world, and now all of us die. Now we all sin, and, and we're subject to death because the, the um, consequence of sin, the consequence of going off is death. Okay, but through our belief in Yahweh Shai, Okay, because Yahweh Shai, when he came back on the earth 2,000 years ago, he didn't, he did no sin. Okay, and he, and he gave his life, life as a sacrifice. So now that us that believe in him, okay, can also live forever. Okay, that's the mystery, you know, that the world does not know, that two thirds of our people do not know. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse. I'll read verse 49 again. It says, And as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. We're going to bear the image of the heavenly. All right, we're going to be changed, man, ultimately. In layman's term, we're going to be changed. We're going to shed these mortal bodies, these, these bodies that are subject to sin and that dies. And we're going to put on immortal bodies, all right, that never goes off and that lives forever. All right, because of our faith and belief in Yahweh Shai. All right, verse 50, it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. All right, we can't go into the kingdom in these corruptible bodies, these fleshly bodies, man. All right, it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. We're not going to all perish, but we're all going to change, man. It says, In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall all be changed. All right. So when Yahweh Shah returns with his holy host of heaven in the chariots and the angels, all right, when he calls up the elect, okay, because right now the Lord has called us by hearing this word, but soon he's going to actually physically, he's going to call us again and we're going to physically go into the chariots. It says in a twinkling, we're going to be changed. Okay. And as we're being beamed up into the chariots, our bodies are going to change. Okay, we're going to shed the flesh that we're in now. And we're going to be inside of a, a new flesh, like a butterfly. All right? A butterfly starts as a caterpillar, and then it sheds. It goes in a cocoon. It sheds, and it comes out as a butterfly, a whole new being. That's what we're going to experience 
on a much greater uh, scale. Verse 53, it says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and get this real quick. Um, in second, I'm going to close it out. I believe the point was made. I know I was all over the place, but Lord willing, it makes sense. All right, so this is here. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 2 and verse uh, 42. It reads, I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted which i marveled at greatly all right this young man is yahweh shai all right and ezra is seeing a vision all right of the ceremony where yahweh shai is crowning the elect okay for overcoming this wicked world and remaining faithful in this wicked world all right, so Yahweh Shai, he's taller than all the elect, 144,000. All right, and he's crowning each individual brother. All right, Lord's willing, this is what we want to be a part of, and this is why we do what we do. This is why we make the sacrifices that we make. This is why we endure the things that we endure for this moment right here. Okay, it says, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? Ezra said, what are these? He didn't say, who are they? He said, what are these? Because the men that he sees in this vision have changed into immortal people beings they and it's almost like they're unrecognizable okay they truly took on the the image of the son of yahweh like the lord intended us to be from the foundation of the earth all right and he answered verse 45 he answered this unto me these are they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of yahweh and now are they crowned and received palms all right. They confess the name. That's one thing that the elect are doing now. OK, they confess the name. It says, then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth him and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Yahweh, OK, which is Yahweh Shai, whom they have confessed in the world. And that's what we're doing. We're confessing Yahweh Shai in the world right now. Then began I great, greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And that's what we have to do in order to be in this uh a coronation to be a part of the ceremony to be the ones that are in this vision that Ezra saw we have to stand stiffly for the name of the Lord man even though the whole world doesn't believe in Yahweh Shai even though the whole world denies Yahweh Shai we have to proclaim Yahweh Shai in the midst of all that and hold fast hold firmly to that okay and then we're going to be rewarded the Lord's going to save us he's going to bless us he's going to change us and we're going to be these men in this vision that put off the mortal and put on the immortal which is the ultimate goal. Lord willing, this was edifying. Again, call Halal Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Bashim Rakal Kadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who taught us this truth and rule well. Shalom, Wabarakim, Lahabakari, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.